Hello there, I'm Mike and welcome to Theme Park 101. Today, we'll be taking a look at all the rides, shows and attractions found at Disneyland in Anaheim, California for 2024. Stick around until the end of the video for my hot tips for visiting the park, as well as a sneak peek at what is coming to the park in the near future. As you enter Disneyland, you will head straight into the first area, the iconic Main Street USA. You will need to walk under the first attraction in this guide, the Disneyland Railroad. This is an 18 minute relaxing journey in an authentic steam powered train that will take you around the whole of Disneyland. You have the choice to stay on the train as long as you want as it loops around the park or you could use it to travel between the different stations in New Orleans Square, Mickey's Toontown, Tomorrowland and of course the starting station station on Main Street USA. Along with the amazing views of the park, there are also some unique dioramas and scenes on this classic Disney adventure. Throughout the day, you can also ride on one of the amazing Main Street vehicles. The four vehicles you could get the chance to ride are the horse-drawn streetcar, the horseless carriage, the fire engine, or the omnibus. You can either hop on in the town square near City Hall to the central plaza in front of the castle, or vice versa. If you are a fan of Disney Park's history, then you will love the Disney Gallery, a small museum dedicated to seasonal exhibits showcasing attractions and icons from all the Disney parks around the world. Currently, there is a special 100 Years of Wonder presentation focusing on attractions within Disneyland and Disney's California Adventure. Right next door is the Disneyland Story, presenting great moments with Mr. Lincoln that features the impressive audio animatronic of Walt Disney's boyhood hero, Abraham Lincoln. After a brief but moving film all about President Lincoln's life, you will then meet the man himself as he delivers highlights of some of his greatest speeches. You will also be able to explore through a treasure trove of Disneyland history, including a scale model of how the park looked on opening day, rare photos, and other exciting memorabilia. Further down Main Street is the Main Street Cinema, where you can enjoy some classic Disney animations from the 1920s and 30s, including the infamous Steamboat Willie. This is a great place to relax while enjoying some Disney history. Main Street USA also has lots of dining and shopping locations, and of course the beautiful Sleeping Beauty Castle. Stick around until the end of the guide as I will go through the beautiful nighttime shows and amazing parades that can be viewed along Main Street. Also, you may even encounter other awesome entertainment like the Dapper Dans or the Disneyland Band that play at various times throughout the day. In the hub area in front of the castle, you'll be able to access four of the seven themed lands within Disneyland. As with all my guides, we will head around the park clockwise which takes us to our next land, Adventureland. Near the entrance is the land's first attraction, Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. This classic Disney show opened in 1963 and still delights guests today with the amazing audio animatronic birds, flowers and totem poles singing the beloved soundtrack. Make sure you catch a viewing when you're in Adventureland. Further into the land is another classic attraction, the Jungle Cruise. This is an awesome boat ride that takes you through different jungles from all around the world as you encounter animals, natives and of course the backside of water. It's famous for the jokes and puns that the Jungle Cruise skippers use throughout your adventure, which adds another amazing element to your fantastic journey. Next up is the recently updated Adventureland Treehouse. This used to be Tarzan's treehouse, but has reverted back to being inspired by Walt Disney's Swiss Family Robinson. Explore the amazing home filled with unique inventions, passions and interests across the various rooms that make up this wonderful treehouse. It also features references to the Society of Explorers and Adventurers that links many of the attractions at all six Disney resorts. The final attraction in Adventureland is Indiana Jones Adventure. This is an awesome dark ride that takes you on a mystical adventure with Dr. Jones as you wade through the jungle and enter the Temple of the Forbidden Eye. It features audio animatronics, amazing set designs and great special effects, as well as lots of different scenes and hidden easter eggs from the Indiana Jones franchise. This is one of the most popular attractions in the park, so make sure you head here early to reduce your wait times. We now move on to New Orleans Square, which is home to two classic Disney attractions. The first is Pirates of the Caribbean, the infamous dark boat ride that takes you on an adventurous journey through many different exciting scenes featuring a bayou, caves, 
pirates as they take over a town, and of course Captain Jack Sparrow makes an appearance. This usually has a low wait time and is a must ride attraction in Disneyland. You can also dine in the Blue Bayou restaurant and watch as the boats from this ride float by. The other classic attraction in New Orleans Square is the Haunted Mansion. This offers great theming, a fun storyline and awesome special effects and has one of the greatest ride pre-shows in the infamous stretching room. You'll head on to the Omnimover ride system that takes you through many different scenes within the Haunted Mansion as you come face to face with lots of haunts including the bride, hitchhiking ghost, the medium Madame Leota and of course the hatbox ghost. During the Halloween and Christmas period you will have a chance to try Haunted Mansion Holiday, a special overlay themed to the classic Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Now onto the next land, Critter Country. You will first come to the Davy Crockett Explorer Canoes. Head out onto the rivers of America as you join in the fun and paddle around Tom Sawyer Island while taking in the amazing sights of Disneyland. This only operates on busy days, usually weekends and the summer months. The final attraction in Critter Country is the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Join Pooh Bear and the gang on this classic dark ride that takes you through many different scenes featuring all your favourite characters, including bouncing with Tigger and a Heffalump dream sequence. This is perfect for younger guests and fans of the Honey Loving Bear. The classic log flume ride Splash Mountain has sadly closed for good, but don't worry, at the end of this video you can check out the full details for its replacement. Next, we head out of this world and into Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. This is still a very popular section of the park and I would suggest heading here early for a chance to ride the amazing Rise of the Resistance. If you like Star Wars and dark rides, then this is probably the perfect attraction for you. It features a trackless dark ride, a walkthrough section, a motion simulator, audio animatronics, huge practical sets and an amazing storyline. All of this results in one of the greatest Disney attractions ever created and continues to have long lines so please plan accordingly. If you're enjoying the video so far please don't forget to hit the like button as it helps us to share this guide to a larger audience. The other attraction in Galaxy's Edge is the fun Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. This is a motion simulator ride giving riders a chance to be a pilot, gunner or engineer as you go on an interactive smuggling mission. It's great fun and gives a great rewritability trying out the different roles as well as attempting to beat your previous scores. There is also lots of shopping and dining locations within Galaxy's Edge and plenty of things for you to explore like building your very own lightsaber or droid, meeting characters roaming the land Land, trying the cocktails in Ogre's Cantina and even playing the fun datapad game through the Play Disney Parks app that interacts with different elements throughout the land. Head to Batu to experience these amazing attractions as soon as possible. You can access Galaxy's Edge through Critter Country, Fantasyland and Frontierland, which is the next area in this guide. First, you will come to Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. This mine train roller coaster really doesn't disappoint as the theming is fantastic and takes you on an exciting journey through the abandoned mines of Rainbow Ridge. On this runaway train ride, you'll experience all the dips and turns, encounter dinosaur bones, hear the cranking of the lift hill and bell whistles and have a very enjoyable ride overall. Also, don't forget to look out for the goat. You can set sail around the rivers of America on board the Mark Twain Riverboat. You'll be able to take in the sights of Frontierland, Tom Sawyer Island, Critter Country and New Orleans Square on this nice relaxing ride. It's perfect for taking a break in between some of the more intense attractions in the park. You can also visit Pirate's Lair on Tom Sawyer's Island by taking a raft boat across the rivers of America. Although this is a Frontierland attraction, the rafts are located in New Orleans Square. The island contains interactive, climbing and scenic opportunities in its caves, forts and other exciting landmarks. You can find references to the classic Mark Twain novel The Adventures of Tom Sawyer as well as The Pirates of the Caribbean. Finally, you can have a go at the Frontierland Shooting Exposition, which for a $1 charge you can have the chance to shoot at over 100 interactive targets. It's great fun to play play along with your friends and family to see who is the best sharpshooter. From Frontierland, you go straight into Fantasyland and first up is Pinocchio's Daring Journey. This is a dark ride which will take you through scenes that feature the Stromboli Circus, Pleasure Island, Monstro the Whale and you'll see lots of your favourite characters from the classic animated film. 
Right Next Door is another dark ride, Snow White's Enchanted Wish, which is one of the few remaining 1955 opening day attractions. Of course, it has had many updates over the years, but you'll still see scenes featuring Snow White dancing with the dwarfs, the evil queen creating her master plan, and of course, Snow White living happily ever after. Next up, you'll be right in front of Sleeping Beauty's Castle, where you can enter into a walkthrough attraction and explore winding passageways where the epic tale of Princess Aurora is told through 3D dioramas and stunning special effects. In front of the castle in the central hub area, you can meet your favourite Disney princesses at the Royal Hall and gather round to watch live shows that recreate classic Disney tales in the Royal Theatre. Back into the centre of Fantasyland is the King Arthur Carousel. This is a classic Disney carousel ride where all the horses are unique and I think it is best to ride it at night to enjoy the amazing lit up scenery around Fantasyland while listening to the organ based soundtrack of Disney classics. Next is the Casey Jr. Circus Train, a rideable miniature railroad based on the train with the same name from the animated classic Dumbo. It gives passengers a tour of many miniature scenes from Disney animated films that are also featured in the storybook Land Canal Boats. Sticking with a similar theme, Dumbo the Flying Elephant is an aerial carousel style ride that is also perfect for younger guests as you take flight on everyone's favourite flying elephant. Next up is the popular dark ride, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Guests will assume the role of Mr. Toad as you recklessly careen through the English countryside and streets of London in a period motor car, before ultimately meeting demise in a railway tunnel and ending up in a tongue-in-cheek depiction of hell. Don't worry, you will find a way to escape and end up back into Fantasyland. Next door is another classic dark ride, Peter Pan's Flight, which is one of the most popular attractions in the park. You board the flying pirate ship as you travel through scenes in London and Neverland. You'll see the Lost Boys Camp, Mermaid Lagoon, Skull Rock, and encounter some of Neverland's most famous residents. Next is the spinning teacup ride, Mad Tea Party. Based on the unbirthday party scene in Walt Disney's Alice in Wonderland, you can enjoy the opening day Disneyland attraction as you go around and around and around. This scene is also depicted in the next dark ride, Alice in Wonderland, as well as other popular scenes from the movie, including falling down the rabbit hole, meeting the Cheshire Cat, and playing croquet with the Queen of Hearts. The storybook Land Canal Boats will take you on a leisurely paced outdoor boat ride through a winding canal, featuring settings from Disney animated classics recreated in miniature. This is a perfect way to relax and take in the different stories that Disney has shown us over its animation history. Next, you'll be transported to a Swiss mountain range on the Matterhorn bobsleds, a twin track steel roller coaster that takes you down a winding path through caverns and tunnels in bobsleds as you get a great view of Disneyland. Look out for a supposed monster that is lurking around the area. The final attraction in Fantasyland is It's a Small World. This is a water-based dark ride and a classic Disney attraction that includes over 300 audio animatronic dolls in traditional costumes from cultures all around the world and includes the classic theme song. Behind Fantasyland is Mickey's Toontown, which features attractions based on Mickey Mouse and friends. First up is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. This is a dark ride that features Mickey, Minnie and Goofy in their modern animation style, with many different exciting scenes which has quickly become a fan favourite and is a great addition to the park. Next is Goofy's How to Play Yard, an interactive musical garden that will have the younger guests jumping for joy. You can also step inside Goofy's kooky house, where he is in in the process of creating some delicious candy. With lots of interactive features and a great view of Toontown, you won't want to skip this one. Next door is Donald's Duck Pond, a fun wet play area filled with spinning water lilies, slides, balance beams and rocking toys. Keep your eyes out for other familiar ducklings aboard the flooded Donald's boat called Miss Daisy. This is a perfect way to cool down during the warmer summer months. Chippendale's Gadget Coaster is a junior roller coaster themed to Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. Younger guests will love this fun, thrilling attraction that includes figures of Chippendale and Gadget. 
You can visit Mickey and Minnie's houses where you can get a tour of their wonderful homes and gardens and even get the chance to meet them for a photo or a signature. Next up is Roger Rabbit's Cartoon Spin, a dark ride themed to the movie Who Framed Roger Rabbit. As the name suggests, this attraction spins as it follows a track through a variety of scenes. You'll join Detective Jessica Rabbit as she tries to stop the weasels dumping dip around the city. There are also lots of things to explore in the Centennial Park area of Toontown, including a fountain themed around Mickey and Minnie that has lots of water features for the younger guests to play with, and the dreaming tree inspired by Walt Disney's hometown. As you make your way back down through Fantasyland, you will come to the final area in the park, Tomorrowland. You will first come to Finding Nemo Submarine Voyage. You can enjoy a ride on one of these real submarines that will take you through the lagoon. Peep through the portholes to find all your favourite characters including Dory, Marlin, Crush and of course Nemo. Next door is the Disneyland Monorail. Originally opening as a simple attraction showcasing the transport of tomorrow, it has gone on to add a station at Downtown Disney, making it a great way to transfer between the two areas of the resort. With the line taking you through Disney's California Adventure, Downtown Disney and different areas within Disneyland, this is more than just a transportation device. Next is Autopia, where you can drive your very own miniature gas-powered car around an amazing miniature roadway. You will be able to see parts of Fantasyland and Tomorrowland along this fun course, making it perfect for younger guests that want to experience driving a real car for the first time. On the other side of Tomorrowland is Space Mountain. This is of course the classic indoor roller coaster that has a great atmospheric queue line before heading onto the ride. It is in almost pitch darkness so you can never tell which way the ride car will be going making it a very exciting experience. Next is Star Tours. This is a simple 3D motion simulator ride that was updated to Star Tours The Adventure Continues, which added a variety of scenes from all three trilogies. With these new scenes, there is a total of 384 different combinations, giving each ride a completely unique experience and gives the chance for a lot of rewritability. Also in 2024, new scenes from the popular Star Wars TV series Ahsoka will be added to the attraction, making this all already great ride even better. Next is the rocket spinner attraction Astro Orbiter. This takes center stage in Tomorrowland that spins you round and round and is also a great way to see some amazing views of Disneyland. The final attraction in Tomorrowland is Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters, the shooting dark ride that lets you compete with your family and friends to get the highest score as you help Buzz Lightyear take on the evil Emperor Zurg. We will now take a look at all the different parades and nighttime shows that Disneyland has to offer. First up is the daytime parade, Magic Happens, with magical floats showcasing characters and set pieces from the likes of Moena, Coco, Frozen and many more popular Disney animated classics. Usually running twice a day, make sure you don't miss this amazing parade. As for nighttime celebrations, at the time of recording this video, you can currently enjoy Mickey's Mix Magic, which celebrates all things Mickey and Minnie with amazing projections, lasers and effects all along Main Street US. USA, Sleeping Beauty's Castle and the facade of It's a Small World. On select nights, you can also enjoy an accompanying fireworks package. From March 22nd to April 14th, you can enjoy Wondrous Journeys. The show features a montage of every film released from the studio, starting from Steamboat Willie all the way up to their latest release. With state-of-the-art projections, a killer soundtrack and on select night some amazing fireworks, this is another show that can't be missed. And from April 26th until August 4th, the special Together Forever, a Pixar nighttime celebration, returns for Pixar Fest. This celebrates all the classic Pixar movies with the use of fireworks, projections, pyrotechnics, lasers and of course music. After this, Mickey's Mix Magic will return before the seasonal shows during the Halloween and holiday seasons. We end with the classic nighttime spectacular Fantasmic, featuring a fantastical array of live performers, beloved Disney characters, enhanced special effects, state-of-the-art projections and amazing pyrotechnics. This show will wow the entire family and is the perfect way to end your amazing day at Disneyland. With two performances each day, you won't want to miss this one. Due to the accident in 2022, 
2023, Fantasmic is set to return on May 24th. My hot tips for visiting the park is try to plan your full day as the park is open from 8am until midnight, so you can get a lot done if you plan accordingly. Make use of the single rider lines for Millennium Falcon, Smuggler's Run, Space Mountain and the Matterhorn bobsleds to reduce your wait time. And always check the official Disneyland website for a full entertainment schedule and if any attractions are closed on the day of your visit. Finally, we end this video with a little look into the future. As as I'm sure most of you are aware, Splash Mountain will be getting a Princess and the Frog retheme to Tiana's Bayou Adventure. This will include an original storyline and will feature all new audio animatronics and effects throughout. The full refurb is already well underway and hopefully it will be completed by the end of 2024. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you would like to help support the channel then consider subscribing or joining as a member for exclusive early access to videos and other exciting perks. If you want to know more about the park next door, Disney's California Adventure, then check out this guide here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Theme Park 101.